today we are showcasing what is probably the most iconic industry in New Zealand is the kiwi fruit picking. If you are on the working holiday visa right here in New Zealand, chances are that you are going to be joining the kiwi fruit industry. This is one of the largest employer in the country and this is one of the easiest kind of job to get. So we decided to do something a little bit different today and take you in the heart of the kiwi fruit industry through the eyes of heaps of backpackers which are working there to fund their travel around this amazing country. What better place to learn about the kiwi fruit picking industry than the kiwi fruit capital of New Zealand, which is Te Puke. It's just outside of the city of Taranga. But the most important question is, how much money are you actually getting paid? They can make good money. So we put them first day on, the, obviously, on the, a lower rate. The second day, they know how to do the job. So it's up to them if they want to pick fast and properly is what we're over the bins for is to make sure the job's getting done right um, then they go on to the higher rate long story short we did walk around and ask those backpackers how much money they are actually making out of kiwi fruit picking they are paid per bin that they are filling up as a team it's kind of a prorata system and at the end of the day they all told us that they were making between 18 to 23 dollars an hour which is a pretty good pay knowing that the minimum wage in new zealand is around 16 dollars per hour but that only applies to green kiwi fruit. Every type of fruit around New Zealand has a different pay system. For instance, the gold kiwi fruits are much more fragile, so it takes a little bit longer to pick them, and then they're usually paid per hour at this point. So if you guys are planning on working in the fruit picking industry in New Zealand, make sure to head to BackpackerGuard.nz where we have plenty of articles explaining in detail what are the kind of pay scheme that you can expect in the different kind of picking job that you can do in New Zealand. It's really insightful so you know basically what you are getting yourself into. But more than the pay, the reason why those kind of jobs are so popular amongst backpackers is because it's usually a really friendly job where you meet a ton of friends. When it gets like this, you feel pregnant. <laughs> like what you'd imagine, imagine a Jesus. pregnant person would feel like you're like, okay. <laughs> because everyone needs to work as a team to fill up these bins as quickly as possible in order to get paid as much as possible, there's a real sense of team camaraderie amongst the group, making for a super fun atmosphere. Pretty empty in there. <laughs> wow, wow, you need the sass at home, you give help, I know. you said. <laughs> it's easy to give sass when you're not doing it. Everyone that we're working with right now are actually staying in the same hostel as us at the Pacific Coast Lodge because the Pacific Coast Lodge is actually a working hostel in Mount Monganui, meaning that if you stay with those guys, they can help you find a job like this one around the Toranga area. On top of that, they also usually organize the transportation, making it super easy if you travel around New Zealand without a car to make it to work. But there is not just fruit picking job, there is a ton of other jobs in the kiwi fruit industry and we are heading to a major factory. We all love our new kiwi fruit. So this kiwi fruit was a reject from the line, but it is said to be the sweetest tasting kiwi fruit. It just doesn't look that pretty. So the kiwi fruit people, they kindly gifted us our own rejected kiwi fruit and we will cherish it for as long as it will last i'm gonna eat that thing tonight for sure next on day 322 part 2 we are following those kiwi fruit that we picked up this morning toward their packing factory we're gonna see the entire process of putting them into boxes which is another super popular backpacker job right here in new zealand we'll show you all the ins and outs and on top of that we're also gonna try this infernal cadence of packing them check it out tomorrow I think we've got enough, so you can just stop whenever you want, Robin. Oh, you don't have to don't stop. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> More you keep going. Like <laughs> <laughs> Basically, she's saying you're not sexy enough to be on camera, and she wants me to another girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what Laura just said, right? No. 